In today's digital age, the internet has become an integral part of our daily lives. It has made communication, entertainment and information readily accessible to everyone, including children. And while internet has many benefits, it also poses significant risks, especially to children with autism spectrum disorder and attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder. Here are some of the ways in which children with ASD and ADHD are more susceptible to being targeted online. Children with ASD and ADHD may not always understand the potential risks of their online behavior. They may not recognize that sharing personal information or communicating with strangers can put them in danger. Without guidance, they may engage in risky online behavior. They can compromise their own safety. They may have difficulty communicating online, making it challenging to establish and maintain healthy relationships. They may struggle with tone, contacts and nuance, which can lead to misunderstanding and misinterpretation of other people's intent. This can make them more susceptible to online predators who manipulate and exploit them. Neurodivergent kids may also hyper-focus on a particular activity or interest, such as gaming or social media, and spend extended periods online. This can leave them vulnerable to online predators who take advantage of their obsessive behavior and can manipulate them. These kind of kids may struggle with impulse control, leading them to engage in risky online behavior without actually considering the consequences. This can make them vulnerable to online scams, phishing attacks, and other online dangers. Some kids with ASD or ADHD find it very difficult to distinguish between reality and fantasy, which can make them more susceptible to online scams and hoaxes. They may not recognize that some online content is fake or exaggerated, leading them to believe false information and put themselves in harm's way. Bullying can be a real problem for neurodivergent kids. Studies have shown numerous times that they are at much higher risk of being bullied than their peers. This is also true online. They can be particularly vulnerable to cyberbullying, which can have a devastating impact on their mental health. They may have difficulties with social communication, which can make them vulnerable to bullying or harassment online. They may struggle to interpret the intent behind messages or recognize social cues, making it easier for cyberbullies to manipulate them. Additionally, their difficulty with social interactions can make it harder for them to make friends, leaving them more isolated and vulnerable to cyberbullying. They may struggle to recognize the consequences of their own actions and may be more likely to respond impulsively to negative online interactions, leading them to further harassment or bullying. So how can we help to protect neurodivergent kids from these online dangers? Well, parents, caregivers and educators must take proactive steps to mitigate these risks. Parents should set clear, very clear rules around screen time, including how much time their child can spend online each day and which websites or apps they are allowed to use. Parents should teach their children with ASD or ADHD about digital citizenship including how to communicate respectfully online, how to keep personal information private, and how to avoid cyberbullying. We have actually recently done an episode on this, so check it out here. Parents should model appropriate online behavior themselves, including avoiding negative comments or interactions and only sharing appropriate content. We all have to lead by example for our children. Now, kids with ASD and ADHD may benefit from visual aids to help them remember online rules and expectations, such as a chart or a checklist posted near the computer. Monitor their online activity regularly and use parental controls and tools to limit exposure to potential online dangers. I mean, we have these tools available to us, so let's use them. Children with neurodivergent conditions may have difficulty self-regulating their online behavior, leading to excessive screen time or poor sleep habits. Regular monitoring can help parents identify when their child needs a break from screen time and promote more healthy habits. 
take a look at our website where you can download FamiSafe app, which is a fantastic tool for monitoring your child's online behavior. It can help you promote healthy habits as well as monitor for potential dangers. Not only can it limit screen times, block explicit content and monitor messages for inappropriate words, but it can also help you track your child and alert you if they leave the agreed upon area with the geofencing controls. And talk to your kids about it. Obviously, there are plenty of other risks out there. So talk with your kids about scammers, trolls, bullies, and how they go about manipulating people into getting what they want. Now, this leads me to my next point. Creating an open and safe communication space is crucial for encouraging children to report any harmful online interactions. Start by setting clear expectations and let your children know that they can come to you with any concerns or questions about their online interactions. Now, this applies to both neurodivergent children, but any other kid as well. When your children approach you with a concern, listen actively and without judgment. Show that you take their concern seriously and that you are there to support them. Last thing you want is to lose their trust. Neurodivergent children will no doubt need additional support and other interventions to build social skills and regulate their emotions. You can use structured activities to teach social skills and emotional regulation, such as social stories, role-playing and games, especially role-playing scenarios about online activities. You can also help your children develop coping strategies for managing stress and anxiety, such as deep breathing exercising and mindfulness practices. Children with ASD and ADHD face unique challenges when navigating the online world. By taking proactive steps to address these challenges and provide support and guidance, parents, caregivers, educators can help children with ASD and ADHD stay safe online. And that's the hope for everyone. I hope this video has been helpful in some way to you or to somebody you may know. Please go and check out our website if you're interested in keeping your child safe online. And let us know what you think in the comments below. Are there any strategies that you use with your kids that uh, other parents maybe not? Uh, or share your personal experiences. There may be something that we have missed or something that was very specific to your case. Either way, it may be helpful to other parents. Other than that, don't forget to like if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.